everybody, Chris Serino here from Sultana Education Foundation. Today we're going to be doing some basic emerging wetland plant ID. The first plant we're going to ID right here is called Phragmites. There's a native strain of Phragmites, but mostly what you see is this invasive strain. It can get to be 12 feet tall. It forms these really, really dense colonies. One of the problems is that once this gets established, it can take over whole lengths of streams, crowd out native plants, but on the other hand, it's really good at protecting shorelines from erosion and it is pretty good habitat for a couple of birds like marsh wrens and red-winged blackbirds in particular. So this beautiful plant right here is known as wild rice or Zizania aquatica. You can see these seed heads right here. This is a really valuable food source for migratory waterfowl, especially in the fall and winter. So two plants that are really common in a tidal freshwater marsh are arrow arum and pickerel weed. So this is arrow arum here. You can see it looks just like an arrowhead. Back in the day, the Native Americans would dig this up and it has a bulbous potato-like tuber, which was an important food source for the Indians. Arrow arum often grows in conjunction with pickerel weed, which is distinguishable by its heart-shaped leaf and these beautiful purple flowers which attract pollinators like bees and butterflies and many other creatures. Okay, so here we have some cattails for the Native Americans and later the colonists. This was a really important food source. You can eat the root systems. The new shoots are succulent and can just be eaten raw. Uh, this is the female part of the flower and this is the male part of the cattails flowering or apparatus. Later in the fall, this becomes much softer and flies off and this was used as ticking in mattresses and pillows back in the day. So this gorgeous native flower here is called marsh hibiscus or swamp rose mallow. It's got five petals. The blooms can be either white or pink. Peak blooming time is really from like early July through September. And they often grow in these beautiful clusters. So if you're ever up in the head of a fresh tidal marsh, you know, late in the summer, check out the marsh hibiscus in bloom. It's gorgeous. So this plant right here is called big cord grass. It's one of three types of Spartina grasses that we have here in the Chesapeake region. I'm holding the seed head, I'll let it go. You can see that it can grow up to 10 feet tall. One of the really impressive native grasses here in a tidal freshwater marsh. So this little pink flower here is called seashore mallow. You can see this one's just about to start blooming. It's the first week in August and these just are starting to come on. They really peak around mid-September. They grow in dense clusters. So look for these little pink flowers, seashore mallow, a gorgeous little addition to our tidal marsh. So to wrap up, you could really spend a whole lifetime trying to identify every different type of plant in a tidal freshwater marsh. But if you know these great eight, Phragmites, Big Cordgrass, Marsh Hibiscus, Seashore Mallow, Wild Rice, Arrow Arum, Pickerel Weed, and Cattails, you'll be off to a really good start to familiarizing yourself with the flora of the marsh ecosystem. That's all for today. I hope you guys come back for some more cool wetland videos.